most popular radio station. We've been broadcasting Irish and American country music since November 1986. Stay with us as we invite you to explore some of the hidden secrets from some Irish broadcasting history. Just turn on your radio and listen all day long And listen to the station that's away above the wall It comes from Cotton Dunne in the county Donegal They broadcast round the Cosby Coast and the lovely Innie Show Around the county and the Derry and Lovely bright light we've got on here this morning <laughs> of July. Good morning to you if you've just joined us. And uh, my name is Eddie and I'll be, keeping you with, I'll be keeping you company up until 10 o'clock on today's breakfast programme. Music from Ireland, Singing Farmer, that's John Watt and Sean Cole, the Shorelands of Loch Foyle. They're looking gorgeous day, we're in Findies, the Shorelands of Loch Foyle. <laughs> It's a great honour for me to work for Eddie North, let alone get an award from him, but thank them all very, very much. I'm going to do the song that won me award, a song about Eddie North. Let it 
well us. So all about ready and ours. You're my shelter, my friend. As I never know. <laughs> As I've never known Since first I saw you On the beach In my dreams of love I love you as I love you Yes, Francis. Well, indeed, it's uh, a wee bit of Scotch music. Just uh, hoping that you may be listening there during the day. Oh, indeed, John. And when I hear that, I just get up and do a wee healing fling. Every time I hear you do that wee Scotch stuff, it makes me think of my mommy back in Bonnie, Scotland. <laughs> Jake, all the very best there. Have a nice day in the garden centre. I will have a wee walk round. We'll see you later, John. Okay. And, uh, Francis, uh, I think uh, there was a lady gave you something there a wee while ago to be read. So uh, can you let us know what it was? John, you didn't uh, didn't tell us that uh, Jake is wearing his kilt today. Well, I didn't like to say that just, you know, but uh, he looks nice, doesn't he? Knobbly knees. And uh, there's uh, quite a few people around us here. A gentleman I can just see out in front of us here, and we've got to have a word with him. John Patmel Hall from Lachiel. John, good to see you. Nice to meet you here, John. That's a great occasion here. Well, uh, are you fond of the gardening yourself? Oh, yes, I like to see it when it's well produced and growing nice flowers. It's nice to walk around and see it. Sure, better known in the potato business right around North Antrim. That's right. That's, uh, I want to be so keen in the small vegetables as the large spots. Uh, you know, could you make a wee prediction for the farmers listening to us? Will they tell us be about four hundred pounds a ton? Hang on. Uh, we use the crop, and uh, we here really get much rain to grow good crop. <laughs> Or I've got a good cross section of our farms way down the years here today. People that you never even thought. Well, the very best of good luck, and uh, we're going in with Foster and Alan and the Golden Gears. The best of good luck to other days. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. How lies the twinkling eyes of age? Behold the sleeping child How wonder is her knowing touch Will ease the troubles born to be Okay, oh, well, we're not terribly one. far away from the news, <laughs> and uh, come on, the last hour of the program, hopefully you can stay with us, we're here until one o'clock here in Clock Mills, and uh, George Best, we're told, has arrived, he's not too far away, and uh, we're going to have the pleasure of seeing him, and hopefully yeah. having a word with him in the second part of the program. Hopefully you'll stay tuned, we'll be back after the news. Some are dry. That's right, I mean, you're going to be uh, delighted that uh, everything's yeah. going still well for you. Yeah, yeah great, I mean, uh, the fact that I've paid everybody to come here has got nothing to do with it. <laughs> Uh, no, it, it is nice. I mean, uh, particularly this this year, it's my testimonial year, uh, game in Windsor Park coming up in August, and it, it's it's always nice to come home, and then see sort of the people still come out and appreciate. I still, I, I hope they still remember the football side of it and forget all the rubbish that they, they read in the papers. Yeah. Well, I don't think anybody uh, believes anything they do read. Uh, people know that George Best was the greatest footballer in the world. They Yay! still, good. yes.
with over 20 years of experience of supplying top quality furniture and carpet to the Northwest. David McIntyre's Tradewind Centre Limavady is now synonymous to all eager bargain hunters. We carry ranges of over 100 quality three-piece suites, beds, occasional furniture and carpet in our brand new 40,000 square feet warehouse. Telephone Limavady 015047 64305 or 64201. Shanvay Lounge and Bar, Limavady, on the main coast road to Benone and Castle Rock, catering for parties large and small, with appetising bar food and meals served daily. The Shanvay Bar and Lounge, Limavady. Standards. Simpsons Bar offers luxury surroundings in a quiet and informal atmosphere. Simpsons Bar Cardona.
both now have a happy anniversary. It comes to you from all your friends and love to hear this lovely song from Patsy Cavanagh. Here we are in 1986 and uh, we've enjoyed the last 10 years here together. And uh, we hope you enjoy our uh, reminiscent tip of them 10 years as much as we enjoy taking it to you. Campbell there and Rhinestone Cowboy. Good morning to North Atlantic Radio with the time now at 8 minutes after 11 o'clock. A pony and horse jumping at the showgrounds Luma Valley on Friday the 10th of July, Saturday the 11th of July. There's a cattle and sheep judging there at 10 a.m. And Coleraine and District Motor Club are holding a hill climb at the Eagles Rock beginning and on Monday the 13th of July 92 from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Anyone interested in the motor club should attend and for sale a 1987 Peugeot 305 diesel van, 4-speed, very good condition, £2,550 uh, ring station for details, that's North Atlantic Radio on 74335-74883 from Northern Ireland, it's 110 and then the usual number. My name is Mickey Bradley, I'm from the zone in Buncrana and I began on local radio in November 1985 and the first job I'd done actually was to do the racing results, the Greyhound results, and from that I proceeded on to play music and records. And uh, I actually got the name of the star of Donegal. I ever got that, I'll never ever know. But during the, from 1985 until the present time, I've been many places, I've met many people, and I still, make, uh, I still have contact with a lot of people, uh, especially a lot of old people for what reason I don't know. They're still writing me from here, there, and everywhere. and. Uh, it's been enjoyable. Uh, I took it like a duck to water, and it, uh, it has been enjoyable and met many, many people. Uh, maybe today I just die down a little bit. That little buzz had gone out of it. After nine years, I suppose, like everything else, the buzz goes. But uh, I believe that radio, really, as I see it, is off, that radio is in your blood. Once you get behind that microphone, you become a different person. That's my own personal feeling of the whole thing, you know? Because I could uh, drive from here to anywhere to do a radio program and it could be as flat as the ground I'm standing on, but once I've gone behind that microphone and become a new person. So that's what radio does to me. It's in the blood, and I know it's in the blood, and probably will remain in the blood forevermore. And uh, so that's all I can say. I suppose if you look at the uh, artists that uh, have sprung up since the beginning of uh, pirate radio stations. Uh, the first man really to come to the scene, one being the man from Kim Cashel himself, Daniel O'Donnell. And the song really that uh, would have been famous with regard to Daniel O'Donnell would have been by Donegal Shore. Of course after that you've had many more and in fact a man who came to the fore and was unheard of. Uh, prior to that was a man called Tony Stevens uh, from Cork uh, who has had a, well, kind of a sad career in the last while. But Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and you all enjoying yourselves. Yeah, well, here's a beautiful wee number. It's one called Jambalaya. I think you can clap your hands and join up along with us. Goodbye, Joe. We got a gold meal, my boy. We got a gold for the bureau down the bayou. My bomb, sweet and bomb meal, my boy. Another gun we'll have. And of course, 
A very good afternoon to you, Denise. I've received a nice letter from your counterpart, yes, from the squad along the Yukon, or Lorna and Sturban, and thank you for the letter, Lorna. I'll do you a three after three on Monday's programme. Certainly won't because I've already got a three after three coming up for uh, David Sorgener and Port Glenone. Sorry about that. You'll be coming up on Monday's programme. I'll be well. We'll continue now with Sally O'Brien. It's a nice one. It's called The Hometown on the Foil. Don't forget the telephone lights are open for your playlist. Your favourite singer and song with Wes. About 2 o'clock this Friday afternoon, it's DJ Wes on the afternoon show. That's my good friend Sally O'Brien and a track called Hometown on the Foil. Well, I'm just thinking back how many years ago it is since I've been on Radio North. Well over eight years I've been involved in community radio and uh, Radio North, of course, is the number one station in the North West, the biggest and the best. It's not only me that says that, it's you, the general public, that agrees with us. That's it as we go for the commercial break. Don't forget your playlist and we have a few people today on the playlist. Come on, come on, come on. me to give a special mention to Little Madonna. So Little Madonna, good evening to yourself and uh, hello from Leo. And that's it. As we take a commercial break, we're back with the final part of the programme right after these. Okay, um, I do a programme here Monday to Friday on Radio North and I've been involved for uh, the last few years with the station here. My own taste in music, if you're a regular listener to the programme, would be uh, music from the 60s, uh, music from the late 50s and uh, the 70s. I also like that type of music. But, uh, as we are a Quest radio station, we get loads of uh, country music requests as well. And uh, what makes up the programme generally is uh, your requests and dedications, basically country music, and my own choice of the oldies, especially from the 60s. And that seems to be a popular blend with a lot of listeners out there. And uh, that's about it from PG the DJ. <laughs>
Super Bowl, Pennybird Industrial Estate Dairy. 
offers entertainment to young and old. Within the Super Bowl complex, you'll find 18 lanes of 10-pin bowling, Martha's Vineyard licensed restaurant, and our newly opened Children's Adventure Play Centre. For bookings, telephone the Brunswick Super Bowl on 01504 371 999. Electrical Main Street, Dungiven. The top store in the Northwest for all your electrical goods. We carry an extensive range of all electrical products televisions, videos, camcorders, radio cassette players, toasters, electric kettles, washing machines, fridges and all domestic appliances. For top quality products, an excellent after-sale service, helpful and friendly service, Max Electrical Main Street Dungiven, lead the way. Furniture of 228 Colmore Road, Derry, for the best in home furnishings. We carry the largest stock in the northwest of three piece suites, beds, and general furniture. Situated on the main Derry to Mavelle Road, Town and Country Furniture are the answer to all your furnishing needs. Telephone 01504 359 111. Town and Country Furniture. November. We'll always love you. We play that, especially for Noel McLaughlin, Kelly Muck Road, and that come and from all your friends. We played for us as low to door into Connie, my two friends. Hope you're keeping well and enjoying the show from the one and only Tanya. Yes, that's kind of love and grace. Still good afternoon to you, Tanya. Hello to Doreen and Connie again. Thanks for the request from Anna and David Moore in Christ Day. We're going to read out some more names. We got our quiz correct with John Quan, Margaret, Katrina, Paul, and Patricia Quan all in our bow in Cookstown. David McGill and Mahara, Ellen Lafferty, Glenn Gap, Margaret Murray and McDermott and Brenton and Greencastle, Margaret Henry and Limavaddy, Richard Henry and Limavaddy, Monica Mitchell Limavaddy, May and Glenn Ely, Arlene O'Doherty and Geraldine in Dungiven, Anna Moore and Davy and Greystein, Mrs McPeak in Mahara, Christine, Claire and Sharon all in Mahara. And we're going to continue on with Ricky Van Shelton, especially for Vera Allen in Cookstown. Good afternoon to you, Vera. We'll also dedicate it to Maggie Lawfrey. Hello to Maggie, to Mary Miller in Dungiven. Not forgetting, of course, Marjorie, Kay, and all the guy. We'll play for Jean Wilkinson in Portly Known. Hello to Jean. Hello to Margaret Hill as well, and Vivian Martin. Hello, everyone. My name is Doreen. I do a show here at Radio North every Saturday from 1 until 4, playing good old American country music, and I enjoy it. We also try and do a quiz. Hello, I'm Connie and I'm com I come from Eglinton in County Derry and I'm a fanatic of old-time American country music and as I'm sure you know by now the 
the old time records are all gone out of stock, so I come down some Saturday to Dorian and present my old time country music with her. American and Irish both, because to me, country music is very, very important in my life. It has a, a listening audience of, of different types of people, from the young to the very, very old. And for the young people that are coming up now, they don't know about Hank Williams and Kitty Wells and Gene Shepherd and all the old time country music. And that's why we like to play the, all the old brands on the radio station to keep everybody in tune. And uh, with people like Radio North and other stations, I'm glad that country music has always and always will be kept alive. Back to request here, one for Arlene Noon, Cherry Hill Cottage, Getty Duff Clamani, celebrating her fourth birthday today. Wishing her a very happy birthday. Uh, she has, hope she has a nice day, comes mum, dad, brothers, Seamus. My name is Big LT. I've been involved with Radio North since the very start. I think it'll be back in 1986. Hope you enjoyed all the music I played for you. All the thank you for all the requests and dedications we had over that time. My name is DJ Paul. I play a mixture of American and Irish country music. I hope you enjoy this video. And I am a DJ here with Radio North. Many happy hours of viewing. So it's about seven minutes past the hour of seven o'clock. Seven four double three five and seven four eight eight three. The telephone numbers for your requests and dedications. Uh, Stephen Lynch. I've been working for this radio station since the past uh, four years. I do the office work and a few shows in the week. Oh, again, if you like a request or dedication on the program, just give us a call on seven four double three five or seven four double eight three. From Northern Ireland, the code is 0103537. And my second issue on down here is 077. My name is Paddy Mack. 
We went to the station for a little over a year. We got involved in Widow for the last, past four or five years. Stay tuned. You never know what you hear yet before bedtime. Supermarket and filling station, Church Road, Carntona. For all your shopping at keenest prices, visit GNS Supermarket, Carntona. Excellent value to be had in all departments. In the butchery department, a wide range of prime fresh meat always available. Great value at our fruit and veg counter. An extensive selection of wines and spirits in our off license. And our quality products in the home baking section is renowned both near and far. Petrol, diesel and engine oils available at our forecourt filling station. Spacious customer car park means no parking problems at GNS Supermarket and Filling Station, Church Road, Carndona, County Donegal. Yeah. Well, Sweets Direct was set up in October 1989. Um, it has been an outstanding success. Um, when we set up, first of all, we had about 50 suites on show. At the moment, we have uh, a stock of about 130 altogether. So if you just bear with me, we'll ha have a look at the stock we have on show at the moment. The range of furniture that we have in our furniture department, as you see, it's quite, quite an extensive range of furniture um, by Sheriff Brothers of Navan. We have uh, the five-foot unit over here with the drinks cabinet. Also, this is the same unit over here without the drinks cabinet. And I must say, it sells very well. There's a range of suites here. Um, we have 
a backup stock of suites, uh, but we have one of every model on the floor at any one time. Here we are in the bed department in our Pennyburn branch. Um, all the beds that we do here are all made by RESPA. First of all, we'll start off with this one here, which is the RESPA Firmrest. That's the basic model, very good bed at the same time, um, without spending a terrible lot of money. Then we move on to this one here, which is the RESPA Symphony in the 4 foot 6 model. And from that there, we'll move on to the RESPA Elite, which is the top of the range, and the very comfortable bed. McNamara's Hotel Movell, situated in the picturesque seaside town of Movell, County Donegal, in the beautiful Inishon Peninsula. McNamara's Hotel Movell is renowned for excellent cuisine and friendly staff. A la carte menu available and bar snacks are served daily. The newly renovated function room is the ideal place for your wedding reception, business meetings, conferences and parties. Live music in the bar during the holiday season and dancing to Ireland's top bands every weekend. That's at McNamara's Hotel Movell, County Donegal. Telephone 077 82010. Cunningham on how I'm 64. The Brisky man is a good way to go before he's 64 yet. That is special for Margaret McMenamin in Ballinagorda, who celebrates her birthday on Tuesday. Many happy returns, Margaret, indeed from us all here at Radio North as well. This comes in from Lena Smith. Also say hello to Wally and City of O'Donnell, Swally Terrace in Burncrana. Our next request stands is for Robert, play I Love You Because by Jim Reeves. And this comes in from his darling, Mary Sweeney. Jim Reeves, I Love You Because. I love you because you understand, dear, every single thing I try to do. takes her down over the mountain and to Carandona to do her program on a Sunday night. Hail, rain or snow, we've got to go on her. Sometimes we're killing old sheep in the road there. All that. Well, we survive all the falls and tumbles we get. And the light on, I'm getting it repaired. The term seat bag getting washed before it got wet there at the weekend. But hopefully that sits on here at the back. Sometimes we put it on here in the front as well. Carrier here. See. So that's a tandem there. Anybody wants to run the tandem? Talk with it tomorrow. Here, Bruce. Every time I'm walking by your side. I love you because that is special for Robert and that's the one from Mr. Darling, Mary Sweeney.
Hope you enjoyed that there, brother from Gary and Mary Sweeney. It's a very romantic program, don't you? It's a very romantic program indeed. Our next request, and it's for all the water bills in Northern Ireland. Please text me if you can, for I'm your man. You just can't find that one. That's coming from the poachers, or the poachers, or whatever you call them. Well, if you have, it, just let the risky man know. 74335 or 74883. You're listening to Risky Man broadcasting on 97.9 FM, 103.8 FM, and 846 on the medium wave. Requests and dedications or telephone number is, as you know, from Northern Ireland, the code is 010 353 outside any zone, it's 077. And you were talking to my co pilot Robert on the telephone. Breathing, North, hello? Hello. 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 Yeah. Right, Henry. I said, Henry, have all the need. Right. What time is Right, all the pipe you want. I've been involved in local radio since it started many years ago. I'm glad to see Radio North carrying on the tradition. This is my other love here, working and lazing about in our yard. Down the years I've made many friends, both you the listeners, and my fellow presenters, and of course not forgetting the advertisers, who all go hand in hand to make the station possible. So to all of you, big big thanks. Let's hope we're around for many years to come. Let's hope to make many, many more friends in the process as well. So to all of you, once again, thanks very much. Is the day I cross the foam to try and make a new life in a land across the sea. But no matter how I fare, there's no way that it can compare to where I spent my young days as a boy in Tullery. So goodbye to Baker Bay, Barrick Hill, and Molly Spray, bridge where we all used. Up Glen to her road I go One look back in the distance My hometown fades away The planting road winds o'er the hill As I go on against my will To old Carney's last words that I say First 
big town there in the GNR steam train. Well, there's 20 minutes left here with the Midnight Raver and a request is time says, congratulations to Pauline and Amy McLaughlin there, Glen Lady, on the birth of their baby girl. That comes in from the McElhenney family. It also goes out to DJ Joe Dory, getting a stutter here. Also for my wife, Teresa, Trevor, Alistair, Irene and Eamon. And that comes in from PJ McDade up there in County Armagh. Play Dangled On. And come back, Paddy Riley. John and Darren Young over in Armoy there, and of course Robin and Veronica Madden over in Lima Valley. And we don't know whether John and has got up to any bad this week or not, or whether he's run into any troubles or not. But anyway, John, that was specially for you. I'm going to play an extra quest here, and it's specially for the water babies over in Red Castle. Wonder who the water babies is. That would certainly be something to figure out there. I'm going to play this next request specially for them from 7 till 10 every Sunday evening on Ireland's biggest and best in the northwest of course that's Radio North <laughs> Something down the track that's calling me Goodbye so long I guess that's just the way I'll always be I'll always be a drifter But I'll be drifting by To where I left you crying In the smoke along the track I like to keep on going It helps me when I'm blue I get the urge to travel, that's all I want to do. I know I just won't settle down because I like to roam. And when I hear that whistle blow, I've got to move along. Goodbye so long, I hate to leave you, but I've got to go. Goodbye so long, it's coming, I just hear that whistle blow. I'll be here in a minute, you'll wave and I'll look back To where I left you crying in the smoke along the crying I know my baby loves me, I love my baby too But she don't understand me when I'm feeling blue And when I hear that whistle blow, don't try to hold me by I'd only leave you crying in the smoke along the train. Goodbye so long, I hate to leave you, but I've got to go. Goodbye so long, it's coming, I just hear that whistle blow. It'll be here in a minute, you wave and I'll look by to where I left you crying in the smoke along the train. To where I left you crying in the smoke along the drive. From Super Tom. There you are, Eric. Never accuse me of not playing your request again. What's next? This is next. Taking us into commercial break. <coughs> over there in Nashville by Margot and Philomena Begley. In fact, we're going live to the Grand Old Opera where we're going to have an introduction from the man himself, Mr. Paul Wagner. I want you all to meet now some very special friends. <laughs> well, 
Well, there's Margot and Philomena enjoying themselves over there at the Grand Old Opry in Nashville. And uh, a very good session they had over there, too. Let's hope that everything went well for them. They're now back in this country, and uh, they're going about their uh, own shows on their own. So, uh, hopefully, we'll be getting together and we'll be seeing Margot and Philomena as a double act somewhere in Ireland in the near future. Until then, well, we'll have to continue to listen to them singly with their own bands. For Francis Callahan, there he comes. Thank you very much. Now, what I'd like to do is a lot of the radio dolls, just jockeys who are here tonight. Um, you probably know the voices, but you don't know the faces. Sometimes maybe that's a plus. But anyway, am I right, Wesley? Right. You stand here on the spot. I'll call them up. Some of them are here, some of them are not. But maybe if they are here, would they come up to the stage and uh, we'll just point them out as they come up? Marty, it's right here. Come up here in a second. The guy that gets up in the morning <laughs> and you have breakfast with them, cornflakes and all the rest, who does a great job. Don't forget the children's spot. That's Marty. Right, CJ Wells, this is the clown here beside us. Say no more. John Watt, I think John has actually gone home, but you've met John earlier on. Also, Colum. Colum, come back up here a second. I think he's, I think he's actually backstage, but anyway, we'll try and get him up in a moment. Uh, Ed Sweeney has actually gone home. You met him earlier on. Willie Houston, come up here. Give him a round of applause. Cagney isn't with us tonight. James Bonner isn't here. Big LT. Hey! <laughs> and rent a radio on sweatshirt. Only is actually on air at the moment, I hope. Eddie Barr is here tonight. Come up here. Anne Stamp, I'm not too sure whether she's with us. Anyway, Anne Stamp. Con Care, Jake Patterson, Fiddle and Tom Cameron, Mickey McDermott. Gabriel Duffy is around here. Gabriel, come up here. Mickey Henry. Uh, I think Mickey is just off here about 10 minutes ago. Also, uh, Michael Coyle. And don't forget our newsreader, Therese. Where is she? Right. Come up here. Come on, Therese. Where did Marty go? <laughs> Therese. Um, Edel, come up here a second. Come up here a second. This is the girl that you ring up every day, and this is the voice you hear behind the telephone. Also, uh, Theresa told me, not too sure whether she's here, or Laura Kelly. Don't think they're actually here at the moment. Also, we'd like to thank our advertising team, which is Mita Harkin, Ed Sweeney, and Noel Peacock. And uh, not forgetting the man that put uh, tonight's production so well together, Tommy Cunningham, give him a round of applause. Tommy, come up here a second. I'm not joking, ladies and gentlemen, this guy was working on Christmas Day on this. Because I was there as well. <laughs> Tommy has been working night on day on the Radio North Awards for the last couple of uh, couple of months. Also, a special word of thanks to uh, Royal Tara China of Galway, who uh, especially made up the pieces and sponsored them uh, for tonight and made them up especially for us. Lovely job they did on them. Also, to the shops who sold the tickets to, uh, for tonight, and um, uh, not forgetting uh, the bands who supported us so well during the year, especially Brendan Quinn. Give him a round of applause. Sean O'Hara, Janet Kerr, John Wall. And not forgetting our compare for tonight, who was Noel McBride. And also I have to say sorry that uh, John Glenn and uh, Jean Stewart didn't make it tonight. Uh, I suppose this is one of the problems with the roads these days. But anyway, let's hope that they'll be okay. We haven't got any words on that there um, as to date. Also thanks to the people who own the land where our transmitters are. They're John Doherty in Redcastle, Mr. and Mrs. Huey Gallagher in uh, Fallonsoff, also Neil Doherty in Mobile, and uh, Charlie Doherty at Breda Glen. Also, we'd like to thank you, the people who've made Radio North so successful in 1987. Let's hope you're able to support us as well in 1988. Without you, there's no point in being here. There's no doubt about that. This is about a song about girls up in Derry now. I don't know if you know them or not, but they're called Go. They're called girls of ill repute. <laughs> a place called Foyle Street. I don't know if you know Foyle Street or not. These are a couple of girls from Foyle Street. In my car up in Foyle Street, across from the depot, I saw this dirty old thing. She asked me for money, told her I had none, and then she started to sing. <laughs> she said she was lonely and she wanted money. I told her that I hadn't time. Well, she then got bolder. 
was Anne that I showed her that I had a bottle of wine. Ooh. In my car, I watched her. I closely watched her. I thought her a bloody disgrace. <laughs> Cause her tights were all tattered. Her lipstick was purple. And the makeup was caked on her face. <laughs> her big hands were filthy. She looked like a mountain. The rollers were stuck in her head. Well, I had to tell her, cause you should have smelt her. I turned to the old thing and said, you need a fine comb to run through your hair. Cause it was all scabby, but she didn't care. She had a bad breath, it smelled wild like I met. Yeah. She said that she wanted me. <laughs> well, I had to tell her, cause you should have smelled her. She had the old smell of stale tea. <laughs> you need a fine coat to run through your hair. Sick. It was all scabby, but she didn't care. She had Thank you for being nice to me. I'd like to just say to you, an Irish great my granny taught me a long, long time ago, to each and every one of you, to wish it to all of you, Slauncha, Gehema Gajay's Fluid, or a Perfin on the Me each and every one of you live to see the end of Coronation Street. May you live to see the Pope come and deport Rush for his holidays. May you live to see Ian Paisley and Gregory Campbell playing Gaelic football. May you live to see everybody's the band working. May you live to see someone in the A-team getting shot. And may you live to see heart to heart knocking shite out of one another. <laughs> Thank you. 